We now have the tools and the technology that, it, that enables us to process a lot of data in a very short space of time. So, you know, we treat it just as data now and the, the problem of big data is effectively, um, you know, being solved every day by the evolution of technology to help it. The best advice, I think, often when you meet a customer, a new customer, an existing customer, is always to sort of bring it back to basics and talk about the purpose for the data. What do you want to use the data for? And that's always the starting point. You know, we get co too caught up in the details around uh, uh, the big picture thinking of data and we have to be doing it because everybody else is doing it. And that's really not the case. If you really, truly understand the data you're sitting on and how it adds value to you and your business and to your customers, um, that's really the focus. So really being, you know, tight on the brief uh, around what you want to use the, the data for is, is, is really, you know, it's really a question. It's not so much advice, but quite often you have to get back to that point of having that conversation with a, with a business or, a, uh, or an executive around, um, around their purpose. The best decisions I think that people can make is always around technology that integrates with each other. You know, it's, um, it's great to, um, you know, buy technology because it's cheap and scalable, and it's great to build technology because you can and you've got the money to do it. But the most important thing really is about having the ability to integrate the systems that you have and the technology you have with um, the standards of you know, what is evolving globally because eventually you know, it is moving very quickly, the space is moving quickly, the technology is evolving very quickly and you can easily get left behind um, and get caught uh, you know, short by over-investing and over-engineering systems and processes effectively that um, you know, become out of date or get superseded in a really short space of time. So, one, you know, I think that's imp it's really important to us that we, you know, always architect a solution that is, uh, you know, can be integrated, um, you know, with uh, everything else that's out there in the universe. Yeah, the talent gap is sort of proving to be a real challenge for everybody. Um, and of course, everybody wants the talent in their own business. Um, uh, you know, again, Understanding, you know, why you need the talent and what you want the talent to do is kind of is really important. What is the, you know, what are you trying to achieve? Um, but we notice a, a talent gap, um, and there's a, there's a real gap between, you know, where where companies are in the market and their whole data strategy and what they want, and and then where we are as a business and our knowledge, and you know, we just try our best to um, to to help them close the gap. You know, um, we're, we're experiencing that a lot of companies are bringing a lot of talent internally and building their own analytics and insights capabilities, which is great because they can interpret their own data and they can have their own internal dialogue around uh, the data that they're, um, they're, they're processing and evaluating and what that means in terms of, you know, my customer profile and so forth. And then we have the same ability on our side, but we see things sort of from a distance and we provide a very objective sort of overview from our point of view. The skills are always hard to find. I mean, we really focus, I mean, you know, in, in any business you want specialists, you know, we want marketing specialists and we want analytics specialists and a lot of companies do as well. And I think the way to bridge that gap um, is for us in particular, and a lot of companies do the same, which is finding, you know, graduates who, you, you know, bright young talent that can come out of, uh, of college who, you know, you can help bring up in this world of data um, that, you know, really are passionate about it. And I think that's one of the things that's really important. People have to care about the data, be passionate about what they do. Uh, and they're your kind of best hope of bridging the gap quite often, because when you've got people who have just grown up with experience in marketing and others are just in analytics, you know, can you, can you teach an old dog sort of new tricks? And sometimes the answer is yes, but more often it's not. Uh, so, you know, it's important that we nurture that talent and try to bridge that gap with, uh, with, with young people and give them great opportunities. But it's also important to create the right environment and give them the right tools to do that as well. Um, that just adds to their working environment. It adds to their enthusiasm and their passion for doing their job as well. You've got all sorts of data, but what's all that data used for? And really, uh, the problem that we're trying to solve is to make that data relevant to people. And I think that's kind of, you know, being able to, um, you know, distill all that and create that story that people can understand and use and make use of is the most important thing. And, um, you know, we're very lucky that, you know, last year we acquired LiveRamp as a business and that is a business that helps us connect online data with, um, you know, with offline data. And, uh, you know, for us, that's a really exciting place to be. It gives us a great opportunity to partner with a lot of, you know, technology companies in the marketing technology space and, and you know, continue to, you know, provide solutions and just evolve that, that space. Um, 
where it goes to after that, I'd, you know, I'd be lying if I told you I knew.